Aaron often thought how nice it would be to have a baby brother. Mum. She had once suggested the idea to her mother. A baby brother? Yes. Your father hasn't said anything, has he? No. Just thought it'd be fun. You have to understand... Karen's mother explained that, although it might be fun, small children took up a lot more time than most people think. And then, Karen, one day... Karen! Quick as you can, please. We need your help. Mrs. Bennett's cut her hand rather badly. I'm going to have to take her to hospital. Oh. We need someone to take Sam down to his aunt's. You know Mrs. Fox on Romans Road? Yes. It's only a few minutes' walk and she is expecting you. Is that all right? Yes, of course. Right then, let's get you to casualty, Angela. Karen was delighted. Bye-bye. Here was someone for her to look after, all on her own. She decided to take Sam indoors and see if he wanted anything to eat or drink. Would you like some milk? Hi, Bernard. Bernard had a new video and wondered if Karen would like to watch it with him. I can't at the moment. I'm looking after Sam. Sam Bennett. Oh. You can help if you like. Bernard was not very interested in small children, though he did give Karen his watch. He says that small children take up a lot more time than people think. Thanks. He said he heard that looking after small children took a lot of time, more than most people realised. Karen could not believe her eyes. How could such a little boy make so much mess in such a short time? Oh, Sam. Her models were broken. He had poured milk into her father's guitar. The biscuit. What had he done with his biscuit? <laughs> it was lucky that she had Bernard's watch. At least Sam couldn't cause any more trouble while she cleared up. The one thing Karen couldn't do in frozen time was the vacuuming. So she found another way to keep Sam quiet while she was doing that. finally set off with Sam for his aunt's house, she found he liked to play a little game. <laughs> he would throw his toy rabbit out of the buggy, and when Karen got it back for him, he would throw it out again. Sam thought it was a wonderful game. <laughs> 
and he played it all the way down the road. Sometimes it could be quite embarrassing. Sorry. Um, what are you doing? You can't go around stealing other people's toys. And sometimes, if she hadn't had Bernard's watch... ..she might have lost the rabbit altogether. In the end, she had to ask Sam not to play the game anymore. Then, when Karen got to the shops, Sam disappeared. Sam! Sam, where are you? Come back here! You run off like that on your own. You have to wait until... Whose is this, Sam? Where did you get this from? Karen decided it would be simplest to return the bag without saying anything. Your bag, madam. No, of course uh, it isn't. Look, this is my purse. These are my glasses. And I certainly didn't buy these. Have you paid for these items, madam? No, you no, but... thief. I'm not a thief. Well, then, what are you doing with my oh, bag? Huh, I suppose someone crept up while you weren't looking and gave it to you. <laughs> I didn't steal anything. Oh, yes, you did. And someone ought to call the police. I'm not a thief. People like you should be locked up. You mean people like me? You're a minister, Mrs. 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 You, you mustn't take other people's shopping bags, Sam, and you mustn't take sweet. Watch out! never known so many things go wrong in such a short space of time. How dare you? What? You just poked me. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I was trying to... I know exactly I... what you were trying to do. I suppose you enjoy doing that sort of thing, do you? You think I... it's amusing? Is there a problem, madam? Yes, there most certainly is. This man just poked me in my bottom. I see. I'm terribly sorry. It was an accident. I was jumping backwards to avoid the buggy. What buggy? Where? Well, that's the point. It's vanished. I see. So you jumped backwards to avoid an invisible buggy. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't invisible when I saw it. It's just... Oh, people like you need locking up. Look, there's a policeman going down there. Right, come along, you. OK. 
keep telling you. I didn't steal anything. Right. You can tell that to the sergeant. Come on. There's been a misunderstanding. Please, please. Officer, I want you to arrest this woman for stealing my bag. I didn't. I didn't take anything. She was trying to leave without paying for these oh, as well. I was oh, yes. not trying to leave oh, without paying for these. Oh, yes, they were in your bag. What were they doing? 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 What were they It was all her fault, Karen thought, but how could she explain? Well, I was bending over the pram and this In his man... notebook, the policeman read, I am very sorry. It was all my fault. There was an invisible buggy, and the other woman did not steal anything. Please don't let anyone get into trouble. Who did this? What? Someone's been writing in my notebook. Oh, for goodness sake, this woman is a thief and needs to be arrested. I am not a yes, thief. They all oh, oh, yes, yes. 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 Yes.